chapter 5, inequalities in one triangle. Inequalities in one triangle, they have the comparison property of inequality, which states if A is equal to B plus C and C is greater than 0, then A must be bigger than B. So for an example, if we're going to have A, B, 3, B will be 1, C will be 2. Using substitution, C is 2, which is bigger than 0. That's true. Then A, which is 3, has to be bigger than B, which is 1, which is also true. This helps us with inequalities in one triangle, where if we have an exterior angle, this is the exterior, will always be bigger than the two remote interiors. So we're going to have angles 2 and 3, their remote interior. So the exterior angle is always greater than the remote interior angles. Let's apply this property now. Why is angle 5 greater than angle C? Looking at angle 5, angle 5 is right there, and then we have angle C, which is right here. So we have to recognize that angle 5 is the exterior, and we know that the exterior is always greater than the interior. We have triangle inequality rule number 1 which says if two sides of a triangle are not congruent, then the larger angle lies opposite the longer side, which really means this. The largest side is opposite the largest angle, and the smallest side is opposite the smallest angle. And we're going to have triangle inequality rule two, which is just the converse of inequality rule number one. This is just saying that the largest angle is opposite the largest side and the smallest angle is opposite the smallest side. Next slide we will apply these two rules. Here we have angle S which is 24 degrees. Here we have O, 130 degrees. So we have to find the measure of angle X, which we know is 180 minus 24 minus 130, which is equal to 26. So angle X is 26. And we want to know what side is the shortest. Well. Using our previous two rules, we know that the shortest side is opposite the smallest angle. So we need to have to find the smallest angle, which is angle S. And the side opposite, there's the side opposite, will also be the smallest side. So there's the smallest side, which happens to be OX. Shortest side or smallest side is segment OX reasoning, it's opposite the smallest angle. So one other question I could say is what side is the longest? And we can know that the longest side will be SX. because it's opposite 130 degrees. So 130 degrees and opposite means directly across and this is the largest side. And brings us to triangle inequality rule three. Basically saying the sum of the two lengths of a triangle has to be greater than the third side. We've seen this property before. 
and I'm going to summarize it down here in the bottom, which is basically saying in order to construct a triangle, the sum of the two smallest sides must be greater than the largest side. So if we're going to do an example, if I say this is 3, 5, and 4, I have to look at the two smallest sides. So we're going to circle the two smallest sides. And we have to add them together. So we're going to do 3 plus 4, which equals 7. And we're going to have to compare it to 5. So is 7 bigger than 5? Yes, it is. Therefore, we can have a triangle. Let's do an example where we will not get a triangle. So if I have 3, 2, and 8, can 3, 2, and 8 form a triangle? Well, let's check. Circle the two smallest sides, 3 and 2. Add them up. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And it has to be larger than 8. Is 5 bigger than 8? And that is false, which means no triangle. Again, in order to construct a triangle, the sum of the two smallest sides must be greater than the largest side. Here are two examples that you should do on your own. Given 3, 7, and 8, can you form a triangle? And 5, 10, and 15, can you also form a triangle? If you need any help, please rewind and look at the previous slide. Here's the last rule for triangle inequalities. Finding the possible third side length of a triangle. It's also called finding the range of the third side. In order to do so, you subtract your sides given and you add your sides given. To find the possible range of the third side length. And here we'll do an example. Here we want to know what could be the range of the third side. So again, here's our range and of the third side. So we have side lengths 5 feet and 8 feet. So we're going to have to take 8 minus 5 to get 3. And we're going to have to also do 8 plus 5 to get 13. So again, this is our range. Therefore, the range is between 3 and 13. Example 2, they want to know what the range of the third side could be. And we know the range is taking our 4 and 7, subtracting to get 3. And we also have to do 7 plus 4 to get 11. And this is the possible range of the third side between 3 and 11. That concludes triangle inequalities and one triangle. Here are some practice problems for you to keep in your notebook, which I will later on check. If you have any questions, please see me before school or after school.